Today, Monday, one day after the storm, has been, I think, a pretty effective day so far. We've had crews out uh, from one end of the island to the other. Uh, the main approach yesterday was to get the roads open, as everyone knows, after the storm passed on uh, Sunday morning. There was a great deal of um, shrubbery and trees down across roads and some telephone poles and light poles. And so the work started yesterday uh, in conjunction with Works and Engineering and Parks and uh, the regiment. Uh, they've been doing a great job and that's allowed Belco uh, to do their work. Yesterday morning, uh, Sunday after the storm, there were 28,000 customers without power. Uh, as we sit here for this interview on um, Monday evening, we're down to just over 4,000 customers without power. So we've made tremendous progress. And as of tonight, um, we think we will have Harbor Road open for Tuesday morning traffic coming into, into work early in the morning. Schools will be closed um, tomorrow, Tuesday again, for the simple reason is there are still about 13 schools without power. It's anticipated by Monday night um, the schools will have power again, but we want to give teachers and of course the principals uh, giving direction back into the schools an opportunity to clean up and make sure that they're, they're ready for students. So we anticipate that we will have the schools open for Wednesday. These are public schools. We intend to meet as the EMO body again on Tuesday afternoon at 4 o'clock and make these type of decisions. I've been aware of some criticism in regards to how the EMOs handle the situation and I think I would answer that by saying a couple of things. First and foremost is when hurricane season starts um, early in the summer, the EMO becomes prepared at that time. And all through the summer season, we meet and we have exercise. We just finished an exercise a couple of weeks ago in regards to preparedness uh, if there was a challenge in the East End and the causeway had some challenges on what we would do. So the EMOs continued to meet and be in a state of readiness. I think the other thing that I would say that's very important to remember is Storms, by their very nature, are unpredictable at best. And I think we've become complacent um, as a society in we look at what the Weather Service says and the National Hurricane Center, what they would say, and we take it as the gospel path that a storm will take. Well, we found out from Tropical Storm Fay that two things happen in the unpredictedness of this hurricane. One is that it moved from a direction that uh, had been forecasted for a long period of time at the last minute from missing Bermuda from anywhere from 40 miles to 80 miles uh, to right over us. And the second thing is it intensified basically right over Bermuda. And um, to make it even more difficult to um, prepare for that, it happened in the middle of the night uh, when you couldn't get a message out to people. But we sent out a release on uh, Saturday, uh, which was clear that um, there's unpredictability involved and, pe and people should prepare. Thankfully, uh, the Bermudians, uh, many Bermudians did prepare and um, we didn't have any loss of life and we had minor injuries. I think the other thing that is perhaps um, important to remember with this storm is, this summer has been unusual for Bermuda. We've had a lot of rain and with 14 inches of rain in August, Obviously, we've seen growth from one end of the island to the other w that we would never expect. And with that growth, obviously with any wind, it would have a bigger impact than you would um, expect. And with all that rain, the structure, the earth structure, the soil is a lot, moist, a lot more moist. And so when trees blow and move around, they're more susceptible to be uprooted. Um, but thankfully, Bermudians have come together and we're cleaning up from this mess and we look forward the potential weather for this weekend um, shows that uh, Tropical Storm Gonzalo should be somewhere in the area. Now we know the predictions are, are, are still a number of days out for it to be very accurate, but there is that potential and people should start to prepare. Uh, no one likes to run around at the last minute and make preparations for anything, uh, and especially for a, a tropical storm or hurricane. So I ask people to pay attention. Uh, warnings probably will come out about uh, the potential for a storm um, within the next 24 hours, so by Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, and people should pay attention and act accordingly. Uh, unfortunately, with the tropical storm Fay last weekend, there were individuals who knew about the warnings and, and didn't even move a barbecue off a porch. To me, 
um, you know, I think we need to pay a bit more attention to that and we should always prepare uh, for something to happen and if it doesn't then we're lucky. Um, but I don't think it's good not to prepare and just think that it's going gonna, it's gonna to veer away or it's going to have a minimal impact. So with, with the potential for some more bad weather this weekend, we will be warning people and hopefully people will prepare. It's important to state that the government is ready and will continue to be in that state of readiness. Uh, the EMO has met twice on Sunday, twice today, we'll meet again tomorrow. We will continue to schedule meetings through this week um, as we deem necessary. And so we will do everything we can to prepare for that and to notify the public of what's going on. But I don't want people to panic. Uh, we need to make sure that we prepare. Um, and um, I think once we're prepared, then we'll be in good position to deal with whatever may be. The storm could track well away from Bermuda or it could come and cause us some problems. We will inform the public and we will give messages out in due course as soon as we get the information. It's important to be prepared and to listen to the messages from the Bermuda Weather Service and the EMO and to pay attention very closely to those and to uh, look outside your normal stream of looking at media communications because like we found out on last weekend, some people tune out on weekends and, and weather is there seven days a week. So be prepared and pay attention.